Honey, I once went to fit him. A few years ago, I started my own label. Today, I'm going to let you into my life, show you how I run my business, and you get to hang out with Winston. Stay tuned. One of the most important things that I do my entire day is I have breakfast. It's the number one thing I won't give up. It's the only thing that gets me to function at the office. It's important. work much I just eat all day <laughs> so for those of you who are wondering my major was fashion design when I was at Fitham and I went back in 2005 so a pretty long time ago but I always knew that I wanted to be a fashion designer and I went after my dreams and got one if you haven't noticed I'm currently based out of Los Angeles but I'm not originally from here. I'm actually from the East Coast. I grew up in New Jersey and I moved out here to go to FITM and I never went back because I love it here so much. But I do feel extremely lucky because of my career. I travel a lot so I get to go back East so much and it just makes me feel like I have the best of both worlds. Although I love California, I'm never going to like forget where I came from. So after my time spent at FITM, I worked really hard to find an internship in the industry because I didn't want my journey and experience to stop after college. And I was lucky enough to find an amazing internship for a big... I got this amazing internship for this private label company and I was a fashion design intern for their sportswear division. And I learned so much about production, manufacturing, and designing and I stayed there as long as I possibly could. Ever since I could remember, I always knew that I wanted to be a fashion designer but I, oh, and, and start my own label, but I always knew that I needed to work and get as much experience as possible in the industry before I ever started my own. I knew working for a big company and learning about manufacturing and production, it would make me a better designer. I feel like being a designer is a skill and a gift that you have, but learning how to be a designer that actually can reach there are so many aspects of this business and I've been in it for over 10 years and I'm still learning so many new things because the fashion industry is also always evolving and changing. So I'm always learning. It never ends and it's amazing. And I think so after a few years of studying at FITM and about four or five years of work experience, I decided I was ready to start my own label and I did named it Donna Mazzani and that was back in 2008. So aside from having my own website, I also sell to fun stores like Revolve Clothing. So one of the girls at the office was watching my story that I posted on FITM and she had some questions for me and so we decided we're going to do a short little Q&A and I hope that this gives you some more insight on my journey. I interned for about six months and my experience was amazing. I was able to like do some basic stuff like just get coffee and run errands for the designer but I also like understood her process and watched her process. I realized it was time for me to start my label when I felt like I had gained enough experience to carry that with me to and apply those skills to my own brand and my own business. 
in the beginning of my career, I had no balance. I literally worked myself to the ground every single day, and I realized after some time that it was not a good thing for me to do for myself and for my business. As I got older, I realized that it's so important to live a balanced life. For me, if I want to be a good boss, or even like a good designer, I need to work out, I need to eat good, I need to make time for myself. I think the best piece of advice that I can give to anyone who's wanting to start their own company would be to work as long as possible and just learn as much as you possibly can because starting your own business is a lot of responsibility. If you guys have any questions and you want me to answer them, send, uh, what am I saying? Well guys, I'm back home from my long day at the office and I hope you enjoyed my Instagram takeover. Don't forget to follow me at Donna Mazzani for updates on my brand. And if you guys ever want to ask me a question, you totally can send me a message on my Instagram. I'll answer every single one of them because I know how helpful it is 